I just had one of those wah wah wee wah moments again. This is happening every week now, but this time is really another wah wah wee wah moment. Is this the future of browsing? This is the question I'm going to try to answer in the next 15 minutes. This is Perplexity Comet, the browser of the future, or is it? This is Tim Chucker, the AI operator. Follow me for more of these type of videos where you learn AI for business and for productivity. No fluff, real tactics. Let's dig into Perplexity Comet. I've downloaded Perplexity Comet. This is a new type of browser. It looks exactly the same as your Chrome or almost exactly the same because yes, it is built on Chromium, the technology that powers Chrome and many other browsers like Arc, which was from the browser company, are built on Chromium. So it's easy to migrate your browser history, bookmarks, and a bunch of stuff to this new browser. As you can see, this is Perplexity Comet. We have the Perplexity logo. The menu opens up. It is the Perplexity menu where you have your home, where you can customize your sidebar. You have your different things. You have your library, chats that you've done with Perplexity. You have the Discover features, which I have a Perplexity video somewhere. It's been a while but it still stands where you have home, discover, and you have spaces, which I have also covered in the other video. But this is really cool because now it is a browser. What you get, as you can see, we have a chat, which is the perplexity chat. We get some little widgets. We get some quick links and we have try assistant edit widgets and a few different things here, which this is to summarize the current web page. This is to launch voice mode, which is very interesting. And this is to toggle the assistant. This is definitely a great little layout, but let's click on try assistant, try comet assistant. You have some videos where you can understand the things it can do. I've already done that. Please do check it out. So let's try a couple of things. Let's click on find YouTube videos I didn't finish watching. Okay, that's fun. All right. It's finding videos that I haven't finished watching on my YouTube. It's great. As you can see, it's already started to read in the tabs in browser history, then retrieving the full amount. Here we go. Deep sleep meditation. That's what I was doing yesterday. The plot interactive map with Replit and Notion. That's good. I haven't finished these. That's correct. These are all correct. Okay, that's fun. Let's see a couple other things. Of course, you can do simple things like going to the AI operator AI guides, reading the Mind Studio guide, and then asking it to summarize the current web page. Here we go. We've got some of the key points. Great guides, by the way. Check it out in arpreda.com. You can go to our AI guides. And also don't forget, we have our live sessions. You can attend those, come and ask questions. This is okay. This is what you expect. And a lot of these new browsers, like the Arc browser from the browser company had. But again, let's take this up a notch. Open up Tim Chucker YouTube channel and find the video about perplexity. We can close the assistant to keep it clean if you want. All right, search. Oh, here we go. It's taking a little action and it has opened the YouTube channel. Is it gonna also open up the video? Hopefully still doing something. Let's go there. Maybe we can find that. Okay, it's found that it's still locating. All right, let's try again. Can you open that video in a new tab? Yeah, all right, we've got that video open. The search world is changing massively thanks to AI and Googling is slowly dying down, sadly. All right, this is fun. You can watch this. This was about seven months ago, but it's still quite relevant for perplexity. I want to do a couple other things. Let's open the assistant, read all the comments and give me a bullet point summary of them. All right. I wanted to read all the comments and give me a bullet point summary of all of them. Cool. All right. That's good. Okay, yes, that was a really good one. Thank you. That's really cool. Multiple positive remarks. Thank you. All right, we're doing similar comments, so please subscribe to the channel. But let's try a few more things now while we're inside YouTube. Can you check for the videos about perplexity comments and help me prepare a script for my channel? This is a little bit more advanced. Here we go. We're getting a few videos. All right. It's already done the research. This is awesome. And we've got a concise engaging script. Hey everyone, it's Tim Chucker, your guide for the future of AI power productivity tools. Today we're diving into Comet Perplexity, AI's brand new browser built to be your intelligent digital sidekick. This is quite cool. All right, we got some key of the key features built on Chromium. We mentioned that fresh minimalist UI design. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's a voice mode I'll show you in a second. This is cool. I like this. 
Let's try something even more cool. Let's archive all the LinkedIn messages that I have already answered. All right, LinkedIn inbox is a nightmare and I don't know how to manage it. Let's see if comments assistant can help me archive all the messages that I have already answered. It's scanning. Oh, this is cool. Let's go to LinkedIn messaging and archive all messages that have already been answered, only have unanswered or unread messages in the inbox. That's exactly what we want. Let's Let's open that page. It's doing something. All right, it started to archive some messages. That's cool. It's reasoning through and it's taking some actions. It's archiving more. That's cool. So it can do that. Let's see if we can do a few more things. Let's just stop this for a second. Let's open a new tab. We potentially can do this with audio mode as well, but let's try this. Message could be at AI operator and Andrea at AI operator on a LinkedIn DM saying, hey guys, this is Comet Assistant, Tim's new gadget. Oh, hello, let's see. It's doing it inside. You can open the tab if you want, or we can just let it do it. It's actually doing that. Let's see if we can open this page. See the action it's going to take. It's looking for a group conversation. It's not a group conversation. I didn't clearly say a group conversation. I mentioned to DM them. You can do this separately. All right. It still has the context of the previous message. That's good. Okay. It's going to open Kubi's LinkedIn profile and send a direct message. It said, hey, Kubi. Cool. It's found Kubi's LinkedIn profile. Yeah. Is it going to message here? It's asked us, okay, can you continue with this? Yes. Let's allow that message to be sent. I think it's sending it here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Kubi got this message created with Comet Assistant. Huh. Let's see if he's going to do the second message. All right. It's found Andrea's profile. Oh, is it going to the wrong Andrea? Don't do that. No. Well done. It understood that's not the right Andrea. Okay. Yep. That's the one. That's the Andrea, the head of marketing at AI Operator. All right. It's got the right person. All right. It understood that we are connected, so you can send a DM. All right. Let's allow that little message to be sent. All right, continue. Let's check. Yeah, that's oh, happened. It sent a message to Andrea. Perfect. Well done. Let's get back here. Yeah, it's done its tasks quite nicely. Hmm. All right. This is literally a very powerful browser. Chrome, I'm sorry to say that you have serious competition. Let's try one more thing. Find the latest five posts from Kubi at AI Operator. Give the posts a like or some other engagement, like insightful or anything else you find relevant. I didn't even say LinkedIn, but I think, yes, it knows. All right, it's finding the profile. All right, it's gonna find the latest five posts. All right, it's open the posts, I think. Let's see, I haven't given anything to this yet. I think when we start it with here, we have to follow it here. But when we see on the other side, it's a bit easier. Okay. It's like the post right? It's insightful. Let's see if it really has interacted with insightful. No, let's update. Maybe we have the previous version. Oh, okay. Yes. It's done insightful here. It's done a like, it's done a like, it's done a love. And it's done a love. All right, that's cool. Okay, we said five, so that's correct. Let's see. Don't get left behind. Liked, read the celebratory. Like, okay, it's not bad. Maybe we could have done this a bit better. Let's try this. Comment on the latest two posts of Kubi saying, hey, this is Comet. What's up, buddy? <laughs> All right, click on the comment button for the latest post and enter, hey, this is Comet. What's up, buddy? Then submit. All right, let's open the box. Now we can see clearly. I realized that it opened the comment box. Okay, it's asking me for permission, which is quite cool. Continue. So it has human in the loop. Huh, it has added the comment. That's really cool. Let's see the next one. All right, here we go. It's a post that he's did. He's going to ask permission again. Oh, no. Okay, that's good because we've done it once. Is it going to comment? Click comment. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. I really like this. Well done, comment. Let's do a new thread. Let's try something else. Can you check what events the operator has live streamed on their LinkedIn? And give me a summary of them. Let's see what happens here. I'm looking for the agent or the assistant of Comet to go to the AI operator LinkedIn page 
find all our events we've done till today and give me a breakdown of those. It's already done it. I didn't even need to open it here, which is cool. Yeah, custom GPT live stream, cloud code session, early July. Okay. Workshop closed new terminal interface team showed. Yeah, that's not bad. I think that it's thinking some of our videos as some of the live sessions, but it's not bad at all. We did a bit of cloud code, but we did replit. It's correct. Wow. Okay. This is really cool. Let's try something else. Hey, can you check Tim's about section and experiences? And can you give me a bullet point summary about him? Sure. Tim Kacker, founder, AI operator, helping business leaders grow by leveraging AI. He's focused on making AI practical and accessible. He offers AI training, custom AI solutions, and consultancy to help businesses integrate AI effectively. He also founded Electronic Serpme, a music event brand in Turkey and has experience mentoring for Growth Mentor. Previously, he was CEO of Task Drive, where he integrated AI into business operations. Overall, he's passionate about using AI to boost efficiency and innovation. That's all very correct. Thank you very much. Are you able to take actions with the assistant and open up some of the companies as tabs that he has worked for? I've opened tabs for the companies he's worked for. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Wow. This is literally the browser that is AI powered. I am mind blown and we're just scratching the surface. I think there's so much more this can do. It's really, really, really mind blowing. Give it a like, subscribe to my channel, share it with others, invite people to it because my mission of helping you all learn AI is a real mission. Please comment below. How would you use this browser? What are some of the tasks that you wish your browser could do for you? Thanks. This was Tim Shucker, the AI operator. See you in the next one.